Back to School Month continues here on KHQA, and we have Susan Johnson, the superintendent of the Hannibal Public School District, in with us this morning. Good morning to you. Good morning. So when do you guys start? What's the first day? Well, our teachers and staff come back on Monday the 14th, mm. and then all of our students will be arriving on the 17th. Okay, so that's just next week. That what is. are you looking forward to for the school year? You know, I was thinking about that on the drive over here this morning, and you know, this is my 25th year, and every year, it doesn't matter how many years you've done this, it's just a, a point of excitement when it's the first part of the school year. Um, when I go out into, um, you know, establishments in Hannibal, I see parents and kids, and it's just nice to see the enthusiasm of starting a year, getting back together, seeing one another, athletic events starting back, music events starting back, and just being able to be together and, and start that learning process all over again. Sure. Is there anything new with the district that's not expected. I know you guys tend to pop up new schools from time to time, but that's been a few years. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. You know, probably one of the newest things that we have going on this year that I'm kind of excited about is um, we're starting an initiative for a school-based health clinic. Okay. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So we're opening uh, a clinic and we're naming it the Patch Center, and it's in collaboration, the Hannibal School District, in collaboration with Clarity Healthcare. And really, it's um, uh, really putting access to healthcare on our school campus for our students and also our faculty. And so we're really excited for that because we obviously understand the importance of um, keeping our staff and students healthy yeah. because if that's the case, you know, they're a lot happier and plus they're able to be at school learning and working and um, I just think it's it's a great situation. That so is, we're excited for that. That's pretty exciting. And that's a mobile unit, right? That can go to different schools or is it a stationary thing? It's actually a stationary okay. um, unit that we have in which we'll have um, mental or excuse me, medical care available for whoever might need it, you know, and it helps parents who are working mm -hmm, sometimes mm -hmm. multiple jobs that maybe need help um, with getting their children the medications they need or just the care that they need. And then as far as our counseling services, there's going to be a counseling component to that that will be mobile, that'll be going from school to school. School. And I'm really excited for that because um, a lot of times our children who require um, some counseling services, you know, it's very important, but they get pulled out of the classroom a lot. Uh, and with moms and dads having to take off work, taking them to the counselor and then bringing them back, they lose big chunks of instructional time, even though it's important. Uh, I Absolutely. think that'll be really helpful. I see what you're saying. So that'll be done right there on site. Now, is, is patch an acronym for something or is it a play off the pirate? It's a, it's a play on the pirates okay. and it's, uh, and we'll see if I can remember this, um, <laughs> pirates access to Clarity Healthcare. Oh, nice. So that works so, out very nicely. Yeah. Okay. Something else we're going to talk about is on the 21st is the solar eclipse um, yes. that's coming through. What's Hannibal teachers doing for that? You know, it's been an exciting time, kind of making many of us reminisce on many times our childhood and some of the experiences yeah. we've had. Uh, some of the things that we're going to be doing is at, on the 14th when all of our staff is back, um, a couple of our science teachers at the high school are actually going to be talking to our staff, uh, just getting everybody back in the groove since it happens so quickly after the start of school, mm -hmm. about some instructional activities that can be used with our students in the classroom to make those extensions into the classroom t so that they can learn from that really monumental experience. In addition to that, we have um, purchased um, viewers for all of our staff and students so that on Monday the 21st, when that occurs, we can all take part in that. And we have around 80 students from our high school who will be traveling to Westminster College. Oh, nice. Who are able to actually spend the day and take that uh, that entire experience Yeah, in. they'll be so, in totality there. Absolutely. So we're really excited about doing that and, and um, you know, just the opportunity they'll provide to our students. Very nice. And we often also talk about budget with schools. Mm -hmm. um, you guys being in Missouri, how are things there with the state budget and school funding? You know, I think things are going pretty good right okay. now. It's, uh, you know, like anything, it's something that we watch and, and watch closely. But really, um, all in all, you know, I think things are going pretty well. So we're moving straight ahead and going to provide the best education we can to our kids and excited to do that. Do that. Absolutely. As an alum of Hannibal High School. And, <laughs> and we're proud with, of that. <laughs> all the way through kindergarten. <laughs> Susan, thanks so much for coming in. It's great to see Thank you. Thank you so much.